How do you fly in close formation and stay stable when you are one to three feet off the wing of another airplane? Well, you're not really actually looking at the distance between wingtips. We have visual references that we use. So the aircraft that's doing the leading and the aircraft that's doing the flying of the formation each have their own responsibilities. The leader will be doing navigating. The wingman will be flying formation as a primary task. When you're flying close formation, you line up missile rail wingtip with a little panel underneath the jet. And then the second thing you line up is the burner can. And you're looking straight across the tail, the turkey feathers, the afterburner. And when you line those two things up, you're basically triangulating a position that gets your cockpit in the right spot. You're slightly aft, you're slightly offset, and we never overlap wingtips. That way, if you hit turbulence or something, you're not gonna hit your wingtips together. When you're flying a correct close formation position, you're gonna be about one to three feet off the other aircraft. And then the other thing we do when you're passing behind the aircraft is you always have nose tail clearance. Again, you'll see with the Thunderbirds, they'll tuck right up underneath there. And that is something that they train a ton of hours to do. But when you're flying in a normal F-16 out there in your combat unit, you always ensure nose tail clearance when you're maneuvering behind the other aircraft and maneuvering over to the other wing. Keep in mind, the next time you're out there flying a fighter jet, you don't have to stare at the other person's wingtip to make sure that you don't hit them. Just use your visual references. I hope that helps. Like and follow for more.